Cavaliers are a team that I think a lot of people will say are good, but might be a little young. Like everyone's like, this is a really good team, but no one's choosing them as their championship contention team. I see this team being, you know, a year away from contending, maybe a wing away from contending. What are your thoughts on the Cleveland Cavaliers? Oh, uh, man. I don't know if it was the acquisition of Donovan Mitchell. I, that's that's a thing, though, is they're still super young. Um, I think the reason they're getting overlooked is because of, I mean, the, the turnaround they had from two years ago to last year to this year is unbelievable. It's going to come down to Mitchell. And to be honest with you, I don't think Mitchell is going to struggle. I wouldn't be surprised if Donovan Mitchell, if they play Brooklyn or New York, averages 40 points in the series. So to me, Cleveland 100% is getting out of the first round. Now, once we get into the second round, I think it's going to be based on the team they play and how that team looks. If it's going to be Boston or Milwaukee, that's going to be a tough, that's going to be a tough win to overcome. I would, I would imagine what I, I would, I would take Bucks and six right now bucks and six i just round uh so the Cavs. i mean this team easily could make it to the west uh, eastern conference final yeah wouldn't be shocked no doubt they're right on schedule they're bit they're the biggest team they're huge in the sense that they can out rebound any team I just think this is a team that's either going to be second round or conference finals. Depends on, I think Evan Mobley, people are acting like he hasn't been great. Evan Mobley's been freaking fantastic. Jared Allen, I mean, hopefully the eye problem isn't too bad. I think yeah. they're calling it an eye contusion. I mean, I saw that happen live. I literally pointed at my girlfriend. I was like, oh my God, that looks so painful. And she was like, what? I was like, look at that. I was like, the man got stabbed. They started Lamar Stevens <laughs> and Isaac Okoro. Isaac Okoro has been playing. But also, shout out Ricky Rubio. Ricky Rubio's stats have been terrible. But, I mean, as of late, like, I mean, shooting his shooting stats, his other stats have been fine. Ricky Rubio has been doing what they wanted him to. But they still got Robin Lopez. I mean, Karis LeVert had a decent night. I just think when I look at this team, the problem is, is Isaac Curl, Karis LeVert, and the and like the the bench. Like this team needs to beat you with Evan Mobley, Darius Garland, and Donovan Mitchell, and Jared Allen, and then the rest of the team is like some nights they show up and they look like that contending squad, and then some nights you're like, oh no, you know that they need. I just think they don't have enough consistent players off the bench and at the wing. Yeah. Like, they're bigs. The Robin Lopez, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, that's fine. Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, and Ricky Rubio, that's fine. That those though, All those guys, those six guys I just mentioned, championship players. But the, the Karis LeVert, Isaac Okoro, Jetty Osman, I, as much as I like those guys, I think those guys would be great if those were your two, three, and four, all right? But you need a you need a Josh Hart, all right. Josh Hart would be sweet. You get what I'm saying, like Josh Hart. If, even a Jay Crowder, I'd take. Yeah, I'd take him. If any of those guys were their their number one starting wing, and then you had Karis LeVert, then Isaac Curl, then Jetty Osman, I would feel way more confident. Yeah, that that's something they'll figure out in the in the off season. I think of. Uh, JB is a good. I think he'll figure it out. But yeah, you do wonder about that. I mean, if Mitchell nothing against forty. Yeah, nothing against Karis Levert or Isaac Kuro. It's just polar opposite. Karis microwave, a Kuro defense sometimes can score. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. And because sometimes Isaac, I mean Isaiah Kuro is just starting to look kind of like Josh Jacoby two point Josh Kogi's resurging right now, though. He's kind of he kind of fallen back to fallen well, yeah. back to earth lately. But yeah, he was surging at one point for the Suns, averaging 16 a night for in February. But 
yeah, I think this is a, a good squad that the Cavs have right here, but it's missing a piece before I can go like, oh, this team's going to contend. Yeah. Yeah. Great. But again, this is also a team that I could see going to the Western Conference. I mean, not Western. I keep saying that Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. No doubt. But let's move over to a squad that has been playing so well, but the rumors about one guy going back to Houston have kept them from being 